Rhode Island lawmakers have given the green light for Pawtucket voters to consider a $330 million bond. It would pay for a new high school combining Shea and Tolman together. Now picture this, a new building, modern concept, similar to the new high school in East Providence. But here's the thing, it would be replacing the beloved, right now empty, McCoy Stadium. 12 News supporter Sheena Loshuto spoke to the mayor and has more on his hopes for the project. Pawtucket hasn't built a new high school since the 1930s and come November voters have a chance to change that. But will they be ready to say goodbye to the stadium home to memories for decades? I think that's going to be an emotional way. Since the 40s, one Columbus Ave has been home to America's pastime. But with the Pawsox gone, is it time to invest in Pawtucket's future? We owe it to our residents. We owe it to our children. We owe it to the future. That's the pitch from Mayor Donald Grebian, hoping to get voter support in November to use a $330 million bond to build a brand new high school. It's going to have the career and technical aspect of it. We're going to combine our high schools. And again, I want to be careful because we still have to go out to the voters for voter approval, but also to um, get the take on is it one school or one, or one campus and a couple buildings on this. Grebian says the state will reimburse more than 80%. 12 News asked him how would the approval impact taxpayers? Up front we're borrowing so we're not going to be doing any this year here we're fortunate enough not to have to do a tax increase. Um, there is debt that rolls off of us and debt this would be new debt that we put on. So it all depends. Um, they would pay could pay potentially up front a little bit in their tax increases, but the goal is, is to offset it as much as we can. If voters deny the bond, the city would instead work to improve the existing schools. And if it passed, residents will likely get a chance to take home some of the stadium before it's torn down. How do we do, you know, a farewell of McCoy, you know, whether we sell or donate seats, you know what I mean, the emotional attachment and those type of things. And that should be next year, providing we get the approval of the uh, voters in November for the school. And if approved, Grebian says it would still take at least about five years for the school to be finished and built. Reporting in Pawtucket, I'm Sheena Loshuto, 12 News.